have Amy here. Hi. Um, so we've talked about altars and uh, books of shadows. And when you set up an altar, you know, you typically have um, your five elements present. And you call the elements to you to help you um, with your intentions to manifest something. But when you cast a spell, um, so... Sorry, I'm trying to at the same time. But, um, yeah, I was looking it up what the elements how they like came to be like what and this is hard to find um like why we have the five elements and for what i mean it's probably not hard to find but it is um I mean, when you're looking online youtube whatever like it's hard to find details about the elements so it's kind of what this is about is um you know your elements you know and relates with your altar and stuff so and we all have an element that is ours or two even because your moon sign may be different from your your sun sign like your zodiac sign my zodiac sign is gemini and my moon sign is aries so um but i'm an air sign so air you have five elements you have to the north um is earth right so which to me is you know dirt grass um flowers trees wood metal anything that comes from earth i mean even animals to me are earth but um i also feel that animals are, are spirit as well um so you have earth and air is on your east and this is you know the wind um you know a nice breeze but i feel like this is like has weather too smoke uh this is all air for me and birds how uh, they can fly through the air and be part of the air um and our breath is air so that's what i, I felt too that these five elements are related with us but i'll relate to that in a second so first um earth and air then you have fire to the south um which i mean room temperature is what 68 degrees 70 something like that and our body is typically 98 and 8.6 is like the average regular body temperature and then in the upper 90s right maybe low you know 199 and stuff like this so we all have a little fire in us our blood is warm compared to a normal air right or normal um, room temperature um but also of course flame and cook you cook with it um the sun produces the heat fire it is fire too right um, and then you have element water, which is to the west. Um, water is, I mean, we have to drink it to live, right? Uh, our body is made up of water. 90-something percent is water. Um, <clears throat> and, it, and it is, you know, we have to drink it. It's for our animals as well. They need to drink water to live. You can only go, what, three days without water? <clears throat> um... And, yeah, you know, it's streams, lakes, it's, you know, part of what our life needs to be sustained. And then, um, they have spirit, of course. That's our, like, our consciousness, our, our spirit, our thrive to live, um, our will. Yeah, it's the spirit. Um, but then, no, it's just God, goddesses, deities, spirits, angels, demons, you know, these are spirits, too. Um, animals have spirits and yeah this is in us as well so I feel like these five elements earth air fire water and spirit these are what we need to live that's why we have the five elements right so when you cast a circle or cast a spell you usually call a circle and you will ask you know uh, to the north towers of the north um, I need your earth to help ground me to help me um, stay focused on you know what is, you know taking place to keep my mind clear air I need you from the east to you know take away any of the thoughts other than what my intentions are right now you know fire to the south you know help uh, me be passionate and aggressive with this so then it can um, you know keep my soul burning whatever then yeah water for your cleanliness your purity we use water to clean Right? We use it to you know, brush our teeth, wash our body, our hair. Um, we drink it. 
you know, if I have a bad stomach ache, I drink water to help clean. So water, we need you for your, your cleanliness, my pure thoughts and uh, you know, spirit for spark. I don't know how to really explain spirit, right? So, yeah, that's something else I guess I need to look into is do a different um, videos on each element. Um, but all five are key to life, right? So, when you cast a circle, it's or you know, cast a spell and draw a circle, it's you're asking the elements that we already live off of to help you more so. Because they already do, and they can even more than you use different tools like feathers just to help make the element present even more so does this make sense and it can help you know with um, protection as well you know there's a lot of these um, elements help with protection when you're casting a spell that you draw a circle for protection um, but yeah so then what are the reasons to cast a spell this should be another video I should make too because that I can't find a lot of these videos that I want to make, like this one with the five elements um, being key to life. Well, I don't know why they're in the direction that they are. Why is earth north and air to the east? Uh, it's been hard information for me to come across. I read books, you know, the Witch's Way and other such books. And oh man, I totally passed my way. <laughs> I got to talk. I'm just driving down. Um, so yeah, that's elements. There's five of them. We need them. We ask for them to help us more. Um, and thank them, of course, for the things that they do for us. You know, because earth, it feeds us, literally. Uh, you know, vegetables, fruits, they grow from the earth. And we consume them to stay sustained. We breathe the air in our lungs. And it gets into our blood. Helps us live. Makes us live. Then, uh, yeah, water, we have to drink it. It is most of our body, you know? This is all factual information. So even the scientific into the, you know, the, the magicalness as well, it all is intertwined. It's kind of intriguing to me. That's why I look into it some more. Like, what other things are there about the elements, you know? So, but, yeah, yay, there's five. Spirit, I gotta look more into what spirit I know spirit I feel it I know that's to me it feels like the you know the gods and goddesses and deities my ancestors that want to speak to me kind of thing it's yeah so when I light a candle at an altar it's more for to open that gateway into letting them know okay now is the time for me to listen to you this is your speech your time to shine and talk to me hello asking unless there's something else they have to say so and all in all I think um, casting spells and doing magic and you know, to, and praying or having intentions set to manifest something is this is all magic and witchcraft so everybody has the potential to do it you know like I said you can manifest something so easily with just the pure thought and it's amazing like I said I've manifested a toothpick when I needed one or actually I have uh went to a restaurant and someone was like oh my gosh I was just thinking of you like not even five minutes ago and you're here now I said well you just manifested me good job and that's awesome so what's up what do you want to say how's it going you know I try to be open to anybody and everybody and putting a little witch comment out there even if they realize it or not but I don't hesitate to say manifest because we all do it even though we don't realize it like uh, my love my life he manifested me but he took the time out of his day to make it a point to be my friend, to have me in his little slices of pie, as I call them. Your whole life is made up of slices of pie, which is your time, right? Every second, every moment is a slice of pie. So where is your pie going to be spent? What are you going to be doing with your pie when, you, when you're when you done and gone from you know this life? What's your pie look like? Who's it with? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you... What does your pie look like most of the time, you know? So, well, of course, want mine always to be good. I want to be able to look back on my pie and say, oh, it's delicious. Yum, you know? But, anyways, this has been long enough 10-minute video. So, yeah, five elements. Have a good one.